All right, everybody, if you couldn't guess what that was that I just finished printing, it was an Iron Man hand repulsor. Uh, this isn't actually the first time that I've gone about trying to print these. Uh, I've got a few other variations that I've gone through of this particular print. Uh, actually, some different files that I was using previously. Uh, the first go around, obviously, this is extremely small. Uh, the print quality came out like garbage. Uh, so I'm going to be tossing that. Uh, here is another set that actually came out pretty good. Um, it's just a little tight for my hands. So if you have really small hands out there, let me know. And I might be willing to send these to you and then you can go through the process of uh, cleaning up the hand file. It's just got a whole lot of support material and just needs a whole lot of sanding to clean it up. Uh, but here are the finished pieces. See here it's nice and loose. I have a whole lot of support material that I have left to clean up, but it's actually really nice. Um, uh, but so far these are great, and uh, I just need to clean up the support material. By the way, if you don't already have one, if you don't already have one, um, you can pick up these um, uh, sort of like picks or tools from Harbor Freight. I think they were four dollars. I got a whole set of them with different tool tips. This one particular has uh, a curved edge that I use to really remove a lot of the uh, support and raft materials uh, for any of my prints that I might use. So makes it a whole lot easier to pick and pull those off, and especially in some of the, the tight areas or the inside areas here that I'll be going through. All right, let me clean this up and we'll look, take a look at it afterwards. All right, so here is my repulsor. So this is just the hand piece, the palm piece. Uh, I've got to do the fingers separately. Uh, what I've done is I've gone and cleaned up all of the support material. Uh, I have yet to go and apply XTC3D to it. Uh, it'll help smooth out uh, and eliminate some of the ridges. Uh, alternatively, I'll probably go through as well with uh, some Bondo uh, spot putty as well as just some regular Bondo to help eliminate the seams. Um, what I'm going to be doing next is determining where I want to, uh, <laughs> as I drop this, um, what I'm going to be doing next is determining where I exactly want to um, attach each of the pieces. More than likely, I'm going to attach the lower pick palm to the knuckles here and then build some sort of a hinge system um on the top here so that i can easily get my hands in and out of the repulsor all right so here it is on my hand as you see here it is a little big i don't have the knuckles attached either uh, everything is just essentially taped down um i do want it again a little bit larger because i'm going to end up cutting out that center circle there and putting in some sort of uh, lighting rig so i can light this up um, all depending, I might make another print that's just a slightly smaller version of this. Um, but so far, I'm actually really liking it. I like how the, the print turned out. Um, I think it's a really great file that I got my hands on, and I'm excited to actually get my uh, full repulsor. And I'm working on a whole arm that I'll be printing. So I'm not going for the whole kit and caboodle Iron Man, but just the arm for a display in my man room. But <laughs> all right, hey, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you like. Uh, hope you like these videos. I'm gonna be continuing with some of my prop stuff on this channel, opposed to my other channel, uh, sort of merging the two into one with some of the 3D printing props, Xbox stuff. Uh, but like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and appreciate you watching. Please leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, thanks again, everybody. Bye now.